Wayfinder immerses players in the enchanting yet devastated world of Evanor, a realm once filled with magic that has fallen into ruin following the apocalypse marked by the forerunner's annihilation of the celestial architects. Let's explore the mystical realm of Evanor together. While we embody the legendary Wayfinders, the final warriors capable of conquering the ever-looming chaos. Join me as I delve into the heart of Evanor, where monsters roam free, bandits lurk in the shadows, and danger lurks around every corner. Will I be able to survive in this treacherous world and emerge victorious, or will the darkness and chaos consume us all? Watch, and let's find out together. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Wayfinder and other exciting games. We must get to the beacon! This is foul magic. Silo, clear a path. On it! Horns, anger issues. Remind you of anyone? Shut up and fight. There are too many. Make for the gate. through. What now? Now, Wingrave, we light the beacon. Somehow, these markings. I can do this, but I'll need some time. Precursor. We have to buy her some time. False one. This is vengeance for my people. Uh, no! Just a little longer. Damn. We are so close. You've done it. The light. Your gods are dead. Your world is ours. Can you hear me? Quickly, follow my voice. Skylight needs you. Take the shard. I remember. I am Harless Wingrave. I was a warrior. An Imperial Archon, charged to carry the light of the Architect into the darkest places to vanquish the forces of evil. How much time has passed? It's all vague. I remember countless enemies, cultists, monsters. Now, it seems that the Empire has been swallowed up by this darkness, that the architects themselves may have fallen. But their light lives on in me. And I will fight to protect those who survived. Please, the Architects. I thought we'd lost you. We need to get you back to Skylight. There's no time to explain. You're trapped within the gloom. But with that shard, you can cut through the shadows. You must move quickly. I will guide you as best I can.
its way to the shadows ahead. Be quick, but be careful. through the shark. the shadow. You must move quickly before it senses your presence. anchor of this gloom shadow. You must destroy it. Summoned protection. Prepare yourself. The anchor is vulnerable. Focus your power through the shard. Destroy it! The path is clear, but the shadow is collapsing. Quickly, enter the portal.
At last. Come. We have much to discuss. I'm glad you could spare a little of your precious time. My friend, it is so good to see you again. I thought we'd lost you forever. Don't worry. Your memories will return, in time. That battle took place a year ago, and you were lost in the gloom. We've been trying to bring you back ever since. Let me show you. The Eldrin attack was a distraction. The beacon was always the target. We pushed past them and found the creature who was leading the attack. And you did what needed to be done. You fought to the bitter end. And your sacrifice bought me the time we needed. There's so much we don't yet know about the beacon. But its power protects this city. It destroyed our enemies and stopped the Gloom Tear from expanding. We couldn't close the Gloom Gate. But as long as the beacon remains lit, our enemies can't pass through it. And in the year that followed, we've studied it, learned more about this gloom, learned how to bring you back. We survived thanks to you. But the damage is done. Skylight is safe and the land around it. But beyond the highlands, reality is collapsing into the gloom. There may be other beacons, other places that repel the invaders. The only way to find out is to cut a path through the gloom. And for that, we need Wayfinders. We need you. Your sacrifice, and that of the others, bought me the time I needed to light the beacon. And the beacon's light holds the gloom at bay. It's the only reason we're alive. We still don't know. A year ago, the Eldrin attacked us and extinguished the beacon. And it was then that the gloom began to spread. It corrupts and consumes reality. The beacon protects us. But beyond its light, the gloom has swallowed the world, leaving only shadows and chaos. We don't know if anyone else has survived. That's why we need you. You survived in the gloom. You can do it again. With the tools you've been given, you can cut through its shadows. You must be a Wayfinder. We still know so little about the Gloom. And so much of the world has been lost to it. We need you to enter the Lost Zones, to find a path through the shadows. You've been through an ordeal. I shouldn't burden you with this now. It's best you see what's left of Skylight, and meet other Seekers. You were a Seeker once. You've just forgotten. Before the Gloom Fall, we investigated ancient mysteries. Now it's the Seekers who are working to keep Skylight and its people alive. Go to the Great Hall, up above the plaza. Wolf will want to meet you. We'll talk again after you've met with him and Lord Halar. Strength is always welcome here. Welcome, Wayfinder. You honor us with your presence. I fought the Eldrin during the attack, just as you did. But it was your sacrifice that saved Skylight. Wolf. Before the fall, I was an officer of the Avar Imperium. 
Now I command our forces, such as they are. There are all too many threats. Shrikes, breaches. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. We will have much to discuss in the days ahead, and we'll have quarters for you soon enough. Much of Skylight was devastated in the attack. The builders are working as quickly as they can. You have more important work ahead of you. But for now, find Lord Halar outside of the Great Hall. He'll get you ready for the tasks that lie ahead. Wayfinder. The new Wayfinder. Delightful. I am Lord Hela. As you know, my lands and the Dominion itself have been swallowed by the gloom. But even now, especially now, names matter. I lead the Arcanists among the Seekers. By necessity, we have focused our efforts on restoring Skylight. But it is my studies of the gloom that can help you, not my knowledge of Arcanic Illumination. What we know for certain is that the gloom alters flora and fauna, and never for the better. Where it lingers, it can consume entire regions, leaving only shadows in the gloom. What we call Lost Zones. You were consumed by the gloom, but you survived. Now you have the power to shape it, to some degree. The shard you've been given focuses this gift. Only a Wayfinder can enter a Lost Zone. But this is just a glimmer of your full potential. If you can enforce your will upon the gloom, perhaps one day we can undo the damage that has been done. But I can only tell you of the gloom. Omen can show you. Return to her, near the gloom gate, Wayfinder. She will guide you in the next steps of your journey. There is work to be done, old friend. The gloom is consuming our world. Our beacon holds it at bay, but much was lost before it was lit. Beyond skylight, you will find breaches where the gloom has ripped away pieces of our world. Using the focusing shard, you can pass through breaches to reach a shadow of what was lost, what we call lost zones. These are unstable and unpredictable, reflecting what was or what might have been. We're running out of time. The gloom is breaking down our defenses and we don't know how to stop it. We need you to explore the lost zones, to find a way to fight the gloom and reclaim our world. We do know the large gate behind me is the key. In theory, you can reach any lost zone through this gate. In practice, there are limitations. Usually, you must find and enter a breach directly to access a lost zone for the first time. After that, you can access it and any other breach you found through this gate. But you can't just stumble into a breach. You need a connection to the lost zone to guide you through it. This might mean finding an object from the zone or experiencing an event tied to it. For now, I have a single connection I can share with you. The Codex Halls of Aurelian. There. Go to the gate. Follow the connection I have given you and return to the gloom. The shard you've been using is an incomplete tool. Find a Codex Ember in the gloom. Then we can transform your focusing shard into a full gloom dagger, allowing you to harness your full potential. Lost Zone. It's not a perfect replica of the world that was. It's a dream inspired by what was lost. When you return here again, everything, the layout, the creatures within it, may change. This Lost Zone is tied to Aurelian, a fortress monastery of the Avar Order of the Silver Codex. The Codex monks were conducting arcane research, and we need to know more about them. Aurelian was raised by raiders from the maze years before the Gloomfall. 
You'll need to establish your own connection to it. Yes. It was a miracle that we could pull you back to Skylight. But like your memories, some of your skills were lost. Don't worry. It will all come back to you in time. This connection I've provided is temporary and unpredictable. Look for a Codex Ember. With it, you can turn your shard into a full gloom dagger and establish your own connections. I can't guide you when you go deeper. To escape, you'll need to find the heart of this lost zone, the Anchor, and destroy it. This weakens the gloom and lets us harvest its energy through your shard. Explore as thoroughly as you can. We need the supplies and knowledge you may find, and exploration may grant you connection to other lost zones. Now go, and good luck. Don't be afraid. Guide my hand! Our victory was never in doubt.
Something new. Something interesting. I hear an echo in the darkness. You have promised, yes. But you don't have what I need. Not yet. Go ahead. Run along home. I'll be watching you, Wayfinder. working as you expect them to? Does your body feel reliably solid? As a Wayfinder, you aren't just a creature of flesh and blood. You shaped your body from the glue, and it's your will that holds it together. It's, <laughs> it's remarkable. Because of this, you have powers you don't yet understand. Think to your recent battles. Have you seen flares of energy flowing from your fallen enemies? These are echoes, fragments of the spiritual essence of your enemy, traces of who they were. As a Wayfinder, you can fuse the echoes of your enemies into your own form. As you progress, you'll learn how to weave echoes into your weapons and even your relics. This is a crucial tool that can dramatically increase your power. I urge you to experiment with it. The Silver Codex studied ways to manipulate arcane energies. We can use the ember you recovered from Aurelian to create your Gloom Dagger, and to establish your own connection to the ruins. You see, the shard you claimed in the Gloom is a rough and imperfect tool. You need to make it a true extension of yourself, a blade that can cut through reality. Use the Echo Matrix to combine the ember and the shard. Visualize the shape of your dagger. You can draw on the threads of the gloom and make your vision real. Try it. Whatever their origin, they are arcanic in nature. I will replicate one. If it takes me the rest of my days. Excellent, yes. Let me inspect it and make sure your work is complete. My knowledge is yours. Perfectly done. Woven from the pure elements of magic and drawn into reality. Now you have what you need to explore lost zones on your own. Let's review that procedure. To reach a lost zone, you need three things. A breach that serves as an entrance, a gloom dagger that can cut a path through the shadows, and a connection to the place consumed by the gloom. A connection can take the form of an object, such as the ember now bound to your dagger, or something more abstract, such as a memory or experience. You now have a gloom dagger, and through the ember you have a connection to the Codex Halls. So, what is it you are missing, Wayfinder? Have you been listening? Yes, just so. You need to find the point at which this area collapsed. You must search the highlands for a sheet of gloom energy. A hole in the world. Once you've found it, use your dagger to carve a path. Explore what lies beyond, and destroy the anchor of that shadow. Thereafter, you will be able to reach Aurelian through the gloom gate here. There you are. Your gloom dagger is connected to the beacon of skylight. Aside from being an invaluable tool for exploring the gloom, it also allows us to communicate through the link. A voice in the gloom? No, that wasn't me. I warned you that the connection would be unstable. Remain alert, but I'm sure it was just some manifestation of the chaos. Lord Halar and I spent much of this last year refining the daggers as we sought to retrieve you from the gloom. As for the shards, that's a tale for another time. 
But now, I need you to return to the Codex Halls. We need to know more about the work of the Silver Codex. I always thought there were peaceful, devoted sages. Now, I'm not so sure. Our work suggests they were experimenting with a sinister force that may have been the Gloom decades before the Gloomfall. This work could help us push back the Gloom, or reconnect our world. As Lord Halar has told you, you must first find the breach tied to the Codex Halls out in the wider world. And that means leaving the safety of Skylight. Before you leave Skylight, I need you to bind your dagger to the signal fires here. This will strengthen your connection to the beacon and help you move quickly across the region. Once that's done, take the lift down to the highlands and find Warden Haas. She's in charge of our defenses. I will offer guidance when I can. The signal fires are tied to the beacon. It's this network of arcane energies that holds back the gloom. Lift to the highlands and find Warden Haas. report from Davin. Does that man ever sleep? Well met, Wayfinder. Welcome back to the world. What's left of it? It's an ugly business. We're fighting the Shrikes for resources. And out beyond, you've got feral beasts and gloom-spawned monsters. You'll find out soon enough, I fear. Brigands and looters. Some of them half feral from drinking God's blood and other madness. Dangerous is what they are. But what's your business here? Looking for the breach? I'm no wayfinder, but I know it. Head out past the foundry and through the ruined gate walls. Once you get to the swamp, look for the large gnarled tree and weathered steps. Be sure to bind your dagger to the signal fire here. You'll find them across the highlands. Never miss an opportunity to forge a connection. Again, I'm no wayfinder. I've heard they're connected to the beacon, and each connection strengthens its light. 
As a wayfinder, you can instantly move between the fires. You'll find it a useful tool. The power of the architects! On your way, then. But we could use another blade out here. These gloom touch beasts get more dangerous every day. And the Shrikes are even worse. Skylight needs supplies, and it's getting harder and harder to find them. I know you've got your mission, but if you can kill a worm or scare off some Shrikes, we need the help. As a Wayfinder, you alone can chart a path through the gloom. But you possess powers and skills beyond those of the Watchers and Rangers, and we must all stand together if any of us are to survive. Many will ask for your help, and I hope you will assist those in need. But it's up to you to prioritize those requests, and to use your time wisely. Right now, I need you to return to the Codex Halls and get to the bottom of a mystery. We'll discuss it further once you're inside the ruins.
Onward! Up for chancing a few more sh Hold a moment. Before you enter, bind your blade to the signal fire nearby. This way you can easily return, should you need to.
previous expedition discovered unnatural deadly spiders in the shadows of Aurelian. Lord Halar believes these aren't spontaneous creations of the gloom. They're tied to the Silver Codexes. Did the Codex somehow harness the gloom decades before the fall and use it to cause mutations? We need answers. Search for spiders and see what you can find. You aren't the only Wayfinder. You'll meet the others eventually. Now go. There's work to be done. Shatter any that you find. Lord Halar can analyze the residue. Be cautious. Ugh! <laughs> 
Now, return to Lord Halar so we can analyze the residue of the webs.
Have courage. ahead. Finder? Yes. Yes. These creatures were altered with arcanic power. Shadow, certainly. Perhaps a hint of chaos. But this isn't the random work of the gloom. This shows intention. The Codex were monks of the Imperium. They couldn't have done this. Even if they knew how, working with the element of shadow is anathema in the Avar faith. I must know more. Wayfinder. You must find the source of this. But to do so, we must accelerate your training. You must learn to shape the gloom. The gloom is a maelstrom of shadows and chaos. 
Anchors pull together visions of what might have been, fragments of the whole. And when you leap in blindly, an anchor pulls you in. But you can do more than this. With your dagger, you can cut through the chaos and carve a direct path. You can hunt down an enemy, strike a specific foe. These webs hold traces of a greater threat. I can isolate its spore. I can give you what you need to hunt, but you are not fully prepared. You must meet the other Seekers. Each has something you need, tools you can use. Arsenal can arm you. The Engineer can give you strength. Venge finds treasures in the rubble. And Omen is the wisest of all. Go, speak to them. It is time we found a weapon worthy of your hands. I see a wayfinder, newborn from the void. You are Skylight's fist, child, and I am the weapon master. I am Arsenal, and I can place steel in your hands You need a weapon worthy of a legend. Eclipse, the Titan's Bane. Hmm. I know many weapons you might wield, but all have been swallowed by the gloom. Last, but not forever. We drew you forth from the gloom when you were lost. You can do the same now. You can call an echo of a legendary weapon from the void, and you can make it real. Your weapon is still only a shadow of what it can be. You can weave echoes into your weapons, just as you use them to strengthen yourself. Each of your weapons has a story, Wayfinder. The better you know your weapon, the better it will serve you. Finder. Delightful, delightful! I'm Venge, and you need what I have, for I have what you need! Whatever that may be. A potion? A poem? What is it now? Good, good! <laughs> it's hard to get supplies in what's left of the world, but my friends and I comb the broken pieces and find those things you need! I'll be here when you know what that is. My creations are intended to be functional rather than beautiful. You are newly returned, yes? You may find my appearance unsettling, but trust me, no one knows more about the interaction of magic and metal than I. There is power within you. Accessories will help you focus that power. Their gifts may seem slight. But even the slightest breeze can turn the tide. The greatest accessories cannot simply be crafted. But you, Wayfinder, you can reach within the gloom and pull forth the echo of such a relic. You can dream of a lost legend. And all power has a price. There are things you must find before I can help you. But in the days ahead, you and I will make wondrous things. But they are that too.
The hunt's master is Grip, but he's devoted to his... As you know, you weren't the only hero lost to the gloom. We both lost friends on the day of the fall, but they may not be lost forever. It's not easy to pull a Wayfinder from the gloom. We need to find the echoes of the hero and use the beacon to create a path they can follow. But together, we can bring them back. There are things I need you to find. Elements of power, traces of our fallen champions. We need to remember who they were so we can find them in the darkness. We need more Wayfinders if we are to survive. Continue your work with Lord Halar, my friend. But be ever watchful for the traces that we need. Task. Without his guidance, we would have stopped long ago. I shall need more arcanists if I hope to attempt. My work has been successful. I've drawn the essence from the webs and found the traces of their maker, the brood mother who spawned these foul things. But before you reach her, you must craft a gloom trace and use it on the gloom gate. I will provide the materials you need this once, but in the future, you will need to find them yourself. Once made, the Gloom Trace will guide you directly to your prey. I hope you took advantage of what our Seekers have to offer. I fear you will need all the help you can get. I believe we may be able to use these Gloom Traces to target specific foes in the future, if needed. Craft the Gloom Trace and then go to the gate. The Gloom Trace will guide you to your foe. We need to know what the Codex was doing. This broodmother may hold the answer. Good luck. Have no fear.
you noticed yet? The air here, it's stone. Yes. Yes. If this is what I think it is, why, it could change everything. The facets, the fragments, glimmers of gloom and chaotic currents. G give me a moment to study it. While Lord Halar analyzes the stone, there is another crisis that could use your attention. Something is happening in the Highlands. Report to Commander Wolf. He will debrief you. It tastes different than a year ago. Scarcely perceptible, yet I believe it has something to do with the energies of the beacon. could have a few more Archons among us. You're here. Good. Your efforts of late have not gone unnoticed, I assure you. However, I fear I must redeploy you from the conflict. We face an urgent threat. In the last 48 hours, two squads of Watchers have disappeared. I have conferred with the local Warden, and it seems a number of scouts have also gone missing. Some of my Rangers have scouted the areas of the disappearances. The reports are unsettling. I fear we may face more incursions into the deeper void of the gloom. I cannot risk any more of our forces' safety. The Seeker Order is spread thin as it is, and I have too many letters to write the Widowed back home. I need you to head to the site of these disappearances and investigate the anomalies. If nothing is done, I worry this may prove to be a herald of something far worse. All right.
I've seen a lot of things. Be cautious. For the Empire.
Strength is always welcome here. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised, having fought together as long as we have. To the rest of us, you make the impossible seem like an easy thing. Still, it's good to see you back in one piece. So tell me, what did you find inside? I see. The gloom tears have plagued us for some time. Perhaps my scouts were mistaken, and the tears themselves are worsening. 
If that's true, then I've no idea what you face. Once upon a time, I knew war. I fought for three years in the ruins of Cairn 17. The labyrinth was a death trap. Our chemical gas poured into our quarters at night. Our mirror waiting around every corner. Every step was a fight in the Cairn. And a chance at a new horror, too. Even so, we knew the enemy. I could touch him, strike him, understand him. I suppose those days have passed. Still, even if we must struggle to the end, I will lead our forces as best I can. And guide you, as you carve the way. We would do well to report this to Omen. She understands the gloom better than any of us. If anyone knows the best course of action, it will be her. Go with strength. Yeah. Construction materials. Gods, welcome back, old friend. I hoped to speak with you. Wolf informed me of the danger just after you left to engage the threat. Tell me, what have you learned? I feared as much. To the naked eye, the beacon's light looks to be as stalwart as ever. This, however, has confirmed suspicions I've harbored. Our beacon is in danger. I'm not sure. Not yet. But I believe you're the key to uncovering what we're up against. I should have told you sooner, but... I didn't know how to say it. You see, my friend... You didn't survive our battle against the Eldren. You gave your life to save Skylight. You perished and were consumed by the gloom. For anyone else, that would have been the end. But you refused to let go. You lingered as an echo, holding on until I found you and sent the shard. I gave you the tool you needed, but you imposed your will upon the gloom. You rebuilt your body, and you can do it again if you fall in battle. And I believe that's only the beginning. I know you have much to report, but Lord Halar has finished analyzing the Myriad Stone. Speak with him first. His findings may help us understand what we're facing. I suppose you'd mind taking a tour of the barricades. Morale has been low of late. Keep your head down near the barricades. They want some upstart shrike taking a pot shot at you. Gather your strength. When was the last time I had a good time? It's as if the Eldrin attacked just to kill our bakers.
my hand! War continues. Thank <laughs> you. 
more battles ahead. through me! to see you've returned unharmed. Tell me, how did our experiment fare? Truly, this may prove either good news or bad. Lord Halar and I shall begin work on understanding the nature of this deeper void you have found. In the meantime, you should continue testing the limits of your power. If the beacon's light is truly fading, you may be our only hope. You were able to shape the deeper void. But we need to know whether your power extends to the Lost Zones. I have a charge of Elemental Shadows. Imbue your dagger with this power and enter the Codex Halls. Let us see what you can do. One of my watches is worth ten of that syndicate skull.
Stay vigilant.
Have courage. Get behind me! Come for a lesson, have you? 